Welcome back to Grow Joyfully. Today we're going to have another taste test, and I'll try to move it along as fast as I can. This is an Abe Lincoln. It is a classic red tomato. It grows kind of heart-shaped, but they grow very big. I've had one and a half, almost two pound tomatoes from the Abe Lincoln. Beautiful flavor, very classic tomato flavor. It's definitely one I include in my yearly lineup. You can't go wrong with an Abe Lincoln. This is a new one this year, it's called Mountain Princess. It's not very big and it's a uh, determinant and I think it is supposed to mature in a shorter amount of time, therefore it's called the Mountain Princess. So something that you could grow in a colder zone with a shorter growing season. It's been one of the best um, producing determinants for me this year. Good classic tomato flavor, more acidic, definitely not as good as the Abe Lincoln. A beautiful black brandy wine. My first year for this tomato plus the yellow brandy wine. I've grown pink brandy wines for several years and I absolutely love them. They have great flavor, very reliable, they can get very big. The black brandy wine have not been that big this year, but the yellow brandy wines have. So this fits into the category of the brown purple tomato. It's a lovely, rich, tomato-y taste. It didn't hit me as well as the Abe Lincoln did, but what a lovely tomato. The Anna Russian, it is a big, obviously, ox heart shaped tomato. Um, I haven't really raised a red ox heart, so this is my answer to a red ox heart. It came in a package of seeds, of uh, it was a rainbow mix. Of tomato seeds and this is one of them that I grew and then I found the seed and I've been saving the seed because it is such a reliable beautiful tomato as you can see really nice and dense not a ton of seeds a mild not overly acidic taste the Anna Russian is definitely a winner and one I will grow every year. Moving on to the Orange Jazz. I just thought the name was fascinating, so one year I tried it. This is probably at least the third year I've grown it. And it gets a lot of green, kind of ribbed things growing up here. And sometimes it's a little crunchy inside. It's hard to explain how and why. But it is a very reliable tomato. I usually get a lot of them off the plant. And let's see how it tastes. Oh, that's nice. Mm-hmm. Lovely and bright, slightly sweet, and extremely good. The orange jazz tomato has been a big surprise and one that I really, really love. We have the Costa Lee. It's spelled C U O S T R A L E E. Um, I don't even know how I stumbled upon it. I guess I was looking on um, MI Gardener's website and I saw this beautiful tomato and I thought I'd give it a try. It's really ripened into a beautiful deep color. And I get some pretty big fruit from this one too. That's really nice in a different way from the orange jazz. 
it's not so light and bright and good morning, but it's not as acidic as the Abe Lincoln. It just has its own lovely flavor and is definitely a tomato that I will always grow. Here's a lovely black crim that is very ripe. It's taken me a couple of days to get to this taste test, so this um, particular group of tomatoes have really been ripened up today. Whoops, see all that juice? And of course, tomatoes are gonna taste different the riper they are. That's one of those deep, lovely, smoky type brown tomatoes. Definitely a favorite with me. All of these tomatoes, even including the Mountain Princess, will be ones that will be on my yearly lineup. Okay, the last one is Black Beauty. These are the most amazing tomatoes as far as color and appearance go. They're amazing. They're just beautiful. Have you ever seen anything like it? When they start out, they're extremely black here. Well, actually, it's more purple because this is a little more black. And they're green here. But now, when they get ripe, the bottom part that was green turns red. So let's see what this tomato's like. Kind of different inside. Green, gel, and seeds. I think it would be great to be a tomato breeder, but who has the time, right? Now that's different again. It's nice. I wouldn't call it bright, I'd call it more intense. And smokier like the uh, brown and red tomatoes. I at first started growing these and they weren't very big at all, but they're a little bigger now. I don't know if it's because I've been saving the seeds from the largest tomatoes, which is what you're supposed to do. Save your seeds from the biggest, nicest tomatoes that you get, and supposedly that will reproduce a big, nice tomato, or even bigger. So I think that's a lovely tomato. It has a lot of seeds, a lot of juice, but definitely one that I will keep on my yearly lineup. Well, that's it for this tomato taste test. I hope you're enjoying them. I know it's a lot of fun for me to conduct the taste tests. Um, I think it's an important thing that you get out there and you make notes of what you really like in your garden. Get a notebook, a, a, um, a gardening journal, and keep lots of notes of things you like and you didn't like and why. And it, then you can just refer back to it when it's time to order seeds again, which is not that far away. Isn't that exciting? I hope you have a wonderful day. I fully intend to. I've already done a lot of dishes and cleaning the kitchen. I have some more tomato sauce to make. And then um, later on today, I get to have a sleepover with some really cute grandkids. So I am very excited about that. And I hope you have a lovely day. And don't forget to do it joyfully. We'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by.